I thought I have self-confidence before, but I was more self-conscious about my looks and what do I wear and how was my hair or like will people like the shoes that I'm wearing and stuff like that. I was thinking more in that perspective and not in, oh, can I actually climb this mountain? My name is Kitty Zaya and I'm from Hungary and Fiera von Polar has changed my life. I was born in 92 and my mother was breeding huskies since 89 and probably around four or five dogs in the apartment. So I was literally born into a dog kennel. <laughs> so I was always surrounded by dogs. I live in uh, Kiruna, Sweden for four years now with my Sambo and with our two dogs. And I'm doing uh, dog sledding as a part-time job. I saw Fjerde Van Polar as a Facebook ad in 2016 and uh, I straight away almost applied but I didn't get in the first year. Uh, I got invited to Fjerde Van Classic so I did one outdoor experience before I did Polar but the next year I got in. Even to this day I remember it was 38,110 votes that I collected within a month. I think it was way better than I expected it. Of course I was waiting to go for like two years so I was imagining myself already there, but it, it really overdid any of my expectations. It was very, very hard, like physically, and that you all of a sudden, from a city life and from being a city girl and not doing anything like this before, you are one day just sleeping outside in a tent for another five days. So that was physically very hard and also in a way that I didn't know what I'm supposed to do or what I have to do. So, of course, all the studying there and learning how to pitch a tent, how to make a fire, shovel the snow away and have snowshoes and everything. It was very something that I never experienced before. So it was uh, very tiring, but it was highly, highly the best experience of my life. So, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually going to cry. We were two and two in a tent and we were making groups of two and also make the group of four and I'm still very good friends with my tent buddy uh, Christina she is a very very cool woman she's a mom of one and she is like the most adventurous person I have ever met I'm not the only one who had this experience and in this way you know that who changed a lot but it was really something that I will, I will never ever forget. And I know when I'm 80 years old and I will be in my rocking chair with like my grandkids running around, I know that I will look back and I'm like, damn, your grandma was cool, you know, like I did this once. I went back to the office on the 22nd and I told everyone how nice it was. And I showed the pictures and, you know, everybody was very happy about me for like five minutes. And then I get to sit down back to the old life of mine, sort of old life. I think I felt like a little bit empty afterwards because I just didn't know what to do and like what to... I try to ask others around me who I think they know me better than I know myself. But they were like, yeah, just you have to listen to your heart and what do you want to do? And I'm like, I don't know, I think I want to move back. But it sounds so crazy, right? And then I started to think, how can I, how can I do something similar to Polar? And make a living out of dog sledding. So I started to search for kennels. I found a kennel in uh, Kiruna. And by September, so like four months later, roughly four months, I was already training dogs. I think I gained confidence after Polar, uh, most likely about that I learned so much during those six days. and. It really made me realize that I'm, I'm capable of so much other things as well that I didn't know that I'm, I'm even able to do. So every time that an opportunity comes up in my life and I have no clue about it, I have never heard about it, then I just, I just take it anyway because the, what can happen? I just learn from it. So I think that's my biggest lesson after doing Fjell Even Polar.
I like Kiruna the most because it's uh, very close to nature and just by 10-15 minutes of drive you get to be outside. So everybody's very nature close, they're living a very nature close life and children up here they are brought up a little bit differently. They have like snowmobile licenses when they are like 16, you know, they go out fishing. So I think it's um, a very cool place to bring your child and also to live for a longer period of time. Hopefully within one or two years I would like to be probably the first person who was once a participant but now a guide on Fjärreven Polar. <laughs>